Hello, it is Monk Chips in three minutes. And this week we're going to talk about Microsoft Build. Uh, I went to Build last week, it's in Seattle. It's actually really nice that it's in Seattle rather than in Vegas or San Francisco at the Moscone Center. It's a great location. Um, and you know, it's a great city, uh, out in the open air. Uh, it didn't rain the whole time, which was good and unusual for Seattle, but basically the conference was good. I uh, can't sum the whole thing up, there was like a ton of announcements, but I think there were probably three things that jumped out at me. The first one was Story Remix. So basically, Microsoft has taken Movie Maker and completely rewritten it from the ground up uh, with sort of machine learning techniques, uh, the stuff happening in the cloud, and it is really cool. So the idea is when you're creating a movie, it's kind of like Google Photos, so it does things automatically for you. But the things that are interesting is you put the video in, supposing you have 10 people in a, in a video, it's a, it's a sports event. You can identify who the protagonist is, uh, perhaps it's your kid uh, or someone that you're particularly interested in, and it will make the video edits according to them being the lead or the star of the show. Uh, the music, the way the music cuts are. So if you think about when you're trying to edit video and you have to try to work it out on the beat, when do you do the cut? It'll do that automatically for you. Uh, you can overlay sort of augmented reality effects and that seems pretty crisp and clean. And I think basically we're living in this world where we're creating more and more video content. This is the way we share our stories and Microsoft needed a story there. So whether it means that like everybody's gonna suddenly go, oh yeah, I need a Windows PC uh, in order to make videos to share them. Um, well, it probably doesn't mean that, but what it does mean at least for people that are out there that are using Windows and for kids that'll be like, oh yeah, hey, I can make a movie too. I think it's a good piece of software. The second technology that struck me was Microsoft's new Cosmos DB database in Azure. So it's a cloud database and their perspective is, look, you know, we wanna provide something that is web scale. Uh, what does that mean? Well, I think what's interesting is Microsoft said, okay, it's a document database, um, but you can have uh, other interaction models, so you can also treat it as a graph database uh, using Gremlin, uh, Apache Tinkerpop stuff, so graph tra traversals built in. Um, they gave a good demo in that regard, uh, where they basically, it's the kind of thing that you'd see from Neo4j, so they took the Marvel comic universe and then did a query, what are all the enemies of Iron Man? Um, uh, interesting technology, but also it's this notion of uh, you, can, you can use Mongo APIs, it's all managed for you. What Microsoft has done is they've said, look, we'll take a step back. You've got the CAP theorem, consistency, availability, and partition tolerance, and you need to optimize for a couple of those. But at web scale, when you've got really high performance networks, you begin to mitigate and actually say, no, these, these, these are the things, why does the customer need uh, to make that trade-off? Why does the developer need to make that trade-off? The third thing to talk about is kind of existential for Microsoft. So Ed Bott, he's a really smart guy. He's been covering Microsoft for a long, long time. And when we had a chat, he said to me, look, James, what I found interesting about the keynote was I felt that this was the time when Satya and Nadella finally announced that actually Windows PC is a companion device to your iOS or Android phone. And it's kind of weird. It's a different way of thinking about it because traditionally, certainly from Microsoft's perspective, PC is prime. Is there's PC primacy. We've talked about mobile first, but obviously for them, um, uh, Windows Phone has now uh, been uh, um, uh, deprecated. So it's this idea of, well, how do we actually serve these other devices? You know, we're gonna, you know, if we're gonna have learning at the edge, and Satya Nadella made a great point about intelligent cloud and intelligent systems at the edge, what's that gonna look like? And Microsoft has acknowledged that, yeah, the Windows PC, it's a companion now. That's Monk Chips in three minutes. <laughs>